Um, Tech Sergeant Robert Wilson, the NCOIC and the Fighter Wing Emergency Services team, and we are going to be conducting an advanced uh, SWAT course with the Fighter Wing Emergency Services team members. So the goal of the training for this week is to get all the previously certified emergency service team members uh, through the advanced course and get them uh, nationally certified and recognized as uh, SWAT team members. It's a nationally accredited training that allows us to be recognized as a SWAT team and we can respond to any emergency on base without having to wait for outside agencies. Each one of the team members will go through what's called the, uh, the basic SWAT course. That's to get them comfortable with high-risk operations, get them used to doing advanced building clearing, hostage rescue scenarios. Walk to me, walk to me, walk to me. The advanced course is gonna go more in depth uh, with getting them through the cradle to grave processes of mission planning, uh, high-risk response. I need you to come out with your hands up now. Uh, and essentially just make them a more well-rounded team member. The training that we're able to do at, at Forward Movement or with any local law enforcement agencies is, is a great help uh, to the team because we get to get training in areas that we may not see, so it provides some, some additional locations that we can train in, provides us some, with some problems that we may not see here on the installation. We really appreciate uh, working with the Air Force out of Mountain Home and uh, the SWAT team out there. Uh, we really enjoy the opportunity to be a part of their training, their skill building, and have that opportunity. You're coming down. It feels good to, to be able to, to do this and to actually be accredited and hold the certification to do the job that we want to do. I've done years and months of training and I'm ready for any situation, emergency or otherwise that comes up.